It's over. Yes. Eve. The subjugation is being lifted.
Mother, Sphere, can you send them to her? <laughs> Will the memory stick be destroyed? Because it's already contaminated. <laughs> no, it won't be. In that case, I'll be floating among the stars. To space. Taki! I promise, Taki. May your memories live on. Forever. An Alpha Nativa. Is this the work of the Elder? Hmm. Could I take a look at her memory stick? From the Elder Nativa. I can dimly make out the image of a Nativa bearing black wings. It's the one that attacked Taki and me. It has to be. Why? I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. Why? Why does it hate us? That's not unusual for native humans. But this... Not yet. This is for the other Alpha Nativa. All right then. We'll need another hypercell. Fine. This time, the hypercell is it. The easternmost reaches of the desert, Abyss Lavoir. Let's hurry. Uh, yes. As you know, from first-hand experience, it is not an easy fight. I'm aware of that. But I promise, I will find it. And I will make it pay. That's the kind of mistake you can't make twice. What? What did you say? Nothing. Let's just prepare ourselves to go to Lavoir. Come to the safe house when you're ready to leave. You're the angel. You wouldn't know. You have everything. You have power. That's why you can continue with your mission without giving up, despite your doubts. I do always doubt my ability to handle missions on my own. But it's what has to be done. It's what I have to do. That's why I don't give up. Nothing more, nothing less. That's right. Why are you talking like that? I'm a sinner. I abandoned my comrades to save myself. The nightmare still haunts me. 
The Nativa shot lightning everywhere. They went down one after another like bowling pins, helpless. That moment, I didn't care about the expedition or my comrades. I just hid in the shadows, ran back to Zion while the captain bought time. I'm a coward. Can't even avenge my comrades. That's enough. This has to do with Natibas, and I can't ignore that. Where was the expedition headed towards? The buried ruins in the Great Desert. A horrible place, full of sandstorms. All right. All I that's a to me lately. It's a big relief, and it's all thanks to you, Angel. That's... that's good to hear. Be shy, you can tell me. Well, thing is, obviously, I'm just grateful you visit my shop, but I am, um, I have a favor to ask. Go ahead. So, I know that retrieving that trunk was dangerous enough, but then this next job might be even scarier than that. It's about your sister, isn't that right? Yes. My sister and I were exploring the northern region of the Great Desert. A scary monster ambushed us. We ran away and then we got separated. I ran through the desert and headed straight back to Zion. After that day, Captain Man forbade us from ever going back to the Great Desert again. Angel, I'm telling you, my sister is alive. She's just lost, that's all. She just needs someone to help her find her way home. Could you go and find her for me, please? Kaya, that's... <sighs> Fine. You said the northern region of the Great Desert, right? Yes, Angel. I'll be able to see my sister again. Thanks to you. <laughs> Hello, Angel. Hi, Kaya. I'm doing all right. It would be nice. Kaya, I have something I'd like to ask you. Yes, Angel? What is it? I'm looking for a sentinel named Sue. I think you might have spoken with him. How... how did you know that? Finally. Sue has disappeared. I'd appreciate it if you would assist me with the investigation. My goodness. What's going on? Well... The Sentinel was looking for a lower body exospine system for medical purposes. Uh, of course, we don't have anything that rare available here. I told him that it'd have a lot of trouble finding one unless he looked someplace where a lot of supplies were dumped during the war, like the area near the solar tower in the wasteland. Did he say what he was planning on doing with the exospine? He just said someone really needed it. He didn't say anything more than that. Oh, Angel, I... I really hope nothing bad has happened to him. I'm trying to find out. Anyway, 
Thank you. You've been a big help. Oh no. I can already tell what Sue's up to. It's trying to find a way for Anya to walk. I have a really bad feeling about this. What do you want to do? Are you going to go find him? I guess I'll have to start by going to the solar tower in the wasteland that Kaya mentioned. My angel. And now, here you are. We must have some sort of connection. What do you want, Roxanne? See this? Nice, isn't it? It's called a guard turret. I'm trying to restore it. You want me to help you fix such a dangerous weapon? Are you serious? Yes, it is dangerous. If it's in the hands of the enemy. But if it's in the right hands, wouldn't it help defend Zion? Of course, it's the Sentinels who really need this. <laughs> and as for you, I'm going to offer you a deal you can't refuse. Can't refuse? Says who? No need to play hard to get. This will help the citizens, agreed? And you might have second thoughts if I offered this rare body core as a reward. <laughs> what? Where did you... Easy now. You know how this works. If you travel far enough out into the Great Desert, you'll find something very dangerous. A guard turret that got out of control. Destroy it and bring me its internal algorithm chipset. I'm going to use it to restore this. It won't be too much trouble for you, Angel. Fine, but it's for the people of Zion. I have no interest in your finances. Deal. This is a win for the both of us. Roxanne. Of course. What brings such... I'd appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a good time. Let's leave. This facility is in the... Anyway. This request won't be easy. <sighs> Will five be enough? Hey, are you all right? What happened to the toys here? They look like they're all broken. I don't know what to do anymore. It's all over. It's all over. Jade, I'm sorry. Really. I'm so sorry. I don't know who Jade is, but please, tell me more. Just, who are you? What kind of person are you to try offering me any help? I'm Eve, an airborne squad member. Although that doesn't mean much right now. An angel? And now I'm being offered help by an angel. 
I guess I don't deserve more than that. Why are you doing this? Something must have happened. I used to have a younger sibling. But when the sky fell, she died. And I... I was spared. How cruel of Mother's fear. I've always lived alone with that child's memory stick. And then I heard that there was a place called Zion. Back when we were first crossing the Great Desert, I hid the memory stick inside a teddy bear. I wanted to protect it. But I lost it when I was attacked by a Natiba. The bear got caught in a sandstorm and was just carried away. That's... I've been buying the same kind of teddy bears from the scavengers out here. But it's all been for nothing. Do you see this? I've searched dozens, hundreds. But there's no sign of Jade. It's all over now. This is the punishment I deserve. Jade, I'm so, so sorry. It's all my fault. Why did I put something like that in a bear? The Great Desert. Sandstorms. A bear. Now that you mention it, I think I came across a teddy bear once. At Matrix Eleven's underground hideout in the Great Desert. Maybe I can check. Just in case. There's no point. I deserve this. It's my punishment. Can't tell if it's a punishment from Mother Sphere. Or maybe the work of some other gods. From here, I'll die. Is this better? To die like this? Or become some Natiba's dinner on the journey to the Oasis? What should I do? Hey, stop thinking so negatively. What's going on? <gasps> Angel! <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. I wasn't actually going to jump. How embarrassing. What's the matter? Angel? Have you ever been in love? What? Uh, love? I... I was in love once. Truly in love. There was no storm we could not weather as long as we had each other. Along our journey, we were attacked by a Natiba, somewhere in the desert on the way to Zion. He was just trying to protect me. But... Uh. His corpse, it... It sunk into the depths of the oasis. Like a fool, I ran away alone, and... I left him there. There, in the cold water. I was wrong. I shouldn't have done what I did. The guilt eats away at me day after day. I couldn't do anything else but cry and cry. Leaving Zion, it was just too dangerous to imagine. You do what anyone else does. You find a way to make it on your own. Well, that's what I thought at the time too. But what's the point in living anymore if I can't have him? The memory stick might be damaged. It was in the water for a long time. It's all right. Even if the memories really are lost. If I just had something to remember him by. I'll search near the oasis. 
Really? I can't believe it. Thank you. If you can do that for me, I'll forever be in your debt. Thank you so much. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to find him. Don't get your hopes up. I've been waiting for you. Do you have good news? I do. Well, I finished customizing the Tacky device. So, you can now use Tacky's weapon and skills. Really? I didn't think that kind of thing would be possible. That's amazing, Lily. I'm sure Tacky would have been happy to see this. Good work. if you need anything. There's enough enhancement material, right? Eve, Lily. I just realized we forgot about the legacy we retrieved at the Matrix. That's right! We left it in the Tetrapod! I'll go and get it. Great. Let's check it out. I'm worried about what this one is going to be about. Day 52 after the second dive. Fifth record. Legacy account Raven. I am the lone survivor. The truth. The truth always lets me down. I have gathered a good amount of information from the lab's records and the memories of Legion's soldiers. We've always followed the instructions of Mother Sphere to the letter. She was our guiding light, our salvation, our god. 
However, in truth, Mother Sphere was a powerful artificial intelligence created by mankind. In the distant past, there was an engineer named Raphael Marx. He was her creator. Mother Sphere brought great prosperity to mankind, but she seemed to have changed her mind upon the creation of Andro Eidos, her self-made counterpart. After seeing the limits of humanity and the potential of Andro Eidos, she decided there was no room to spare for mankind. Our god is not the god of humans. Then why? Why do we worship Mother Sphere? I don't know anymore. The more I learn, the more questions I'm left with. Everything puzzles me. Mother Sphere. A being that was created. With our own hands. But why would she want to destroy us? This information is full of errors. It's just not credible. Usually, things only exist because people make them. Like us. How dare you! That's blasphemy! Sacrilege! Uh, right. Sorry. But the truth doesn't need to be kind. Only true. The grace of Mother Sphere is a fiction. At least for the humans left here. Maybe you two will come to feel this way. What? <laughs> Lily. Adam. This isn't the whole story. We don't even know if this is true. Ah, yes. You're right. We need more information. Adam, please take me to Abyss Lavoie. Are you ready to leave? All preparations are complete. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting for this. Are you ready to leave? Ah, damn it. Looks like the engine was damaged from all the sand. We'll have to walk from here. Are you okay with that, Eve? No problem. Please support me with the drone. All right. You can trust me. I'm here too. Don't you worry. Ah, 
Even seasoned scavengers get lost in the Great Desert. But we have a map now, so that isn't going to happen to us. There are definitely issues with this camp as well. Hmm. Seems as though there's a problem with the power supply. The trouble is that the solar tower is in the middle of that giant sandstorm. Dave, let's look for the sentinels around here. Maybe some of them will cooperate. Okay.